the Prime Minister of Hungary is right here with us. He arrived a little bit earlier than everyone else. Sir, thank you so much for speaking uh, to Bloomberg. Now, as we're seeing a lot of the arrivals coming in, it does seem that, well, they're pretty pleased. Finally, we have an agreement. You just told me that actually it would have been a disaster if they hadn't. Well, I think uh, we need it badly, this decision. I think letting Greece down or without help could have been similar to letting Lehman Brothers down while Lehman Brothers was at fault, but it had such a spillover effect for the whole world economy uh, that it was ultimately a mistake. And I think this would have been a similar mistake, and we in, Euro in the European Council were able to avoid that mistake. That's an important success. That's a very important sign of European solidarity, and that's a strong sign that Europe ultimately understands uh, its responsibility for for uh, the whole of its uh, territory. There was so much resistance, Prime Minister, from the ECB president and also from other organizations. They were scared that you'd give too much power to the, the IMF, which is not part of the Eurozone, of course. What is your experience with the IMF? Well, we do work with the IMF. In many aspects, Hungary is coming from where Greece is heading to at the moment. And in this respect, uh, uh, the IMF has been a very fair and correct partner to Hungary. In the case of Hungary, the IMF is working in a joint mission with the European Commission. So there is an existing precedent for that, which is working very well. But it's important that they speak in one voice, because a country cannot adhere to two different uh, expectations. And the program and Hungary's example is showing that, first of all, you need this period of breathing time for a country. Certainly that it is very painful and it has to be done, but certainly Hungary's message is that it is possible and the results are even short-term uh, tangible. Now, Prime Minister, uh, just to update our viewers, we're seeing a lot of leaders coming in. Angela Merkel, the Chancellor in Germany, came in just 10 minutes ago and she was saying that she's confident that this will stabilize the euro. What does it mean for your wanting to join the euro? Well, Hungary's aspiration is to join the Eurozone ASAP. I have published an article recently, which is just a humble opinion. We are ahead of elections and the new government with a new mandate will need, need to fix an entry date. But I think within a couple of years, hopefully by the early 2014, Hungary would be able to join the, the euro if the current economic pass is maintained. This current economic pass is a very prudent, uh, cautious economic policy, which is managing uh, currently the fifth lowest budget deficit in Europe. And we, with structural reforms, we have also established uh, the path for a sustainable growth ahead of the European average. Uh, but Prime Minister, are you concerned that actually it will be much more difficult to join the Eurozone because of what we've seen this Greek saga over its debt? Well, uh, the Maastricht criteria has become even more important than before. And there should be no shortcuts or simplifications to that. But countries who are able to meet the Maastricht criteria in a solid, sustainable way should be joining the Eurozone, and that should strengthen the Eurozone. So I think, yes, there will be an increased uh, awareness and cautiousness, but countries like Hungary need to continue sober economic policies, and uh, that will help us to join the Eurozone pretty quickly. Prime Minister Bainai, thank you so much for joining us here on Bloomberg.